The average film is always the same. It's some exaggerated catalyst which turns the existing world completely upside down, which in turn forces our so-called hero to enter into this new world of the unknown. He then predictably reaches that infamous all is lost moment where there's just no more hope. But it's how he deals with this moment that gives the audience their emotional response. This is not that kind of film. At any given time, there are over 300 active serial killers in the United States alone. Many walk among us with complete anonymity. Some of them may live in your neighborhood. Some of them you may even know. And some of them may actually be justified. You stupid fuck. You want a climax in your film? I'll give you a climax. I don't want to get the fucking credit. I'm trying to edit that. My name is Travis Simon. This is my story, sort of. So I gotta drop the stuff off at the film set later tonight. 
and I'll give you a call after. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna try to talk to him then. All right. <laughs> Love you too. See you, Jack. from the Department of Corrections trying to reach Lane Mitchell Hayes. You've missed your last two appointments with the department and are required by law to appear before the court or you will be in violation of your parole. Please contact the department within 48 hours or there will be a warrant for your arrest. Thank you. Wait till I was asleep? Ginger. Leave me alone! Come on, baby. <laughs> you know you like it. Open the door. Oh, <laughs> oh, 
yeah, so you guys want one 60 millimeter non-sync film camera, two wide angle, you want two, two wide angle adapters? Hey, it's Lane, sorry I didn't call you back, I was um, out. Dude, are you kidding me? Any change for food? No, just eat that, jeez, man. Better change? No. Bless you. This year, I'm not gonna work out yet. Here we go. All right, so we go. Um, yeah, everything here looks good. Uh, watch your head, guys. Okay, good. So everything's set. We have the Utah Grip package, four HMIs, tripod, Steadicam, Dolly, which you'll get 50 feet of track for it. Uh, also a 22-inch HD director's monitor. Great. What about uh, power? Uh, uh, Jake, we still got that Jenny, right? Uh, Richard found a buyer for it, but we get to keep it till we close. Okay, good. So you will get power, which is good. Uh, we're also going to give you six long-range walkies and four private radios. Sounds good. Dad, give us some lunch. Yes, we are. As soon as we're done here. Hey, Travis. Uh, Harry just dropped the software. Oh, excellent. Cool. Is this it? This is it. All right. Just want to whip me up? Yeah, I tried calling. Caught at 6.30, 7.30, and 8.30. All right, so this is it. This is what you've been waiting for. This okay. is the vest. What you're gonna do in your film, your actor can wear this. Pay attention, this is the rig. This is my partner, Harry Hawk Designed This. This is the pack you wear for the actors when you're doing the stab scene. Now what it does, it goes over the shoulders, comes around the waist. Cool thing about this, though, it's invincible. So if you stab it with a knife, the blade can't go through. Your actor's always protected. So now you can actually get the wide shot, the knife going in, and it's beautiful. Wow. Uh, when you're done, reload a new blood pack, and you guys are ready to reshoot. Incredible. Let's do it. Excellent. Okay, so here's your list here. Go through the inventory, make sure everything is on here. We haven't missed anything. You know what's not written there? Crazy hold it last night, y'all. Also that your PO called the office again this morning? Yeah, I know. That's a message I don't care. Whatever. You sleep through that one? Huh, <laughs> that's funny. None of this matters. You know why it doesn't matter? This place is going under, guys, in 30 days. And I've got 30 days to find a new job. And if I don't, guess what happens? I go back to jail. That's where all the big boys go if we break the law. How's that sound? Yeah. See, I got arrested for beating the crap out of a prostitute while dealing cocaine. Well, it wasn't just cocaine, it was the funner stuff, you know, meth, crystal, crank, speed, glass. Mr. Rupp, I'm sorry. Dude, seriously? What? Really? Is that what? what you want to do here this morning? I'm doing it. Why not? Let's I'm go for it. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't want to direct the, or offend the director here. I'm making a movie, right? Sorry. Hey, let me tell you something. Yeah. I don't like the way you talk around my daughter. You understand that? Show some respect. She's 15 years old. Oh, you know what? Touching. You felt me right here. In fact, you know, why don't you cry me some tears, Mr. Director? Why don't you go direct an after-school special? Thanks a lot. Oh, my guys pick this, pick up the stuff this afternoon. Appreciate it. I appreciate your business. Yep. I'm sorry. Look, let's get some to eat. I'm sorry about this. We all appreciate it. Everything you're doing out there. Dude, that's one of our biggest clients here. Why are you doing this? Oh, well. Oh, well. Dude, give me some food. I'm starving right now. Seriously, that's why I act this way. I had a bite of a roll out there. Some black homeless guy, candy man looking guy. Scared the crap out of me. Hola. Hi, Hola. pizza. Can I get some to go, please? Let's start, Travis. <laughs> no. Don't they start? No. No, no. Necesito, necesito order. What does that mean? Shut up. Can you take this, please? Yeah, I got it, I got it. Okay. No. Ahora, ahora. Right, so we got the chroma key for you, and you wanted, was it four? Four animation stands. Yep, just tell your guy to bring his truck back, pick it up. All right, thanks. Yeah. You uh, come up to the front and help me out for a minute? Travis, hey. This here is Susan, Susan Lanier. Yeah. I, I actually studied you in film school. Excuse me? I'm sorry, I, I didn't study you. I studied uh, Hills Have Eyes. We watched Hills Have Eyes. You played Brenda mm -hmm. in the movie. This is, this is, wow. Uh, <laughs> Uh, do you know the first film that you did actually got an X rating when it first came out because of the scene that you did and they had to recut the entire thing just to get an R so it could be released in theaters, I'm sorry. You know, we, I, I had a meeting with Richard to go over the inventory list. Sorry, Richard's out of town. I'm Travis Simon. Hi. Hi. Uh, it's, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm acting manager, so whatever you guys need, I can help you out with. You know, Susan here is actually directing a film called Deadpan and uh, Gabby Stone's going to be starring in it. It's actually Gabrielle. Yeah, whatever. Um, are you in any way related to Dee Wallace Stone? Yeah, that's my mom. 
that's pretty cool. Who's D. Wallace Stone? Uh, D. Wallace Stone played the mom in E.T. I never saw that. What is that? Uh, oh, what the fuck is the matter with you? Wow, really? <laughs> uh, so, look, uh, deadpan, right? Is that? Yes. Uh huh. Sure. Oh, uh, oh wow, you guys are actually shooting on 35 film. That's, that's great. Yeah, you know, it's really the only way to do it right. Do it right, huh? Is that what you're doing these days? Doing it right? You still active? Active? Like physically. Well, yeah, I do yoga, I do jogging. No, I mean physically and sexually, like this shit. Get that on. Hey, you know what? Gabrielle. <sighs> no, it's fine. To actually work in this business, it pays to have a little bit of class and act professional. I said what professional, you serious? Yeah. No, first of all, that's bullshit. In this business, it pays to sit with someone a little higher in the food chain. Oh, that's how. It? Oh yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. I know. Great. You I know, know, it's really too bad about the younger generation of filmmakers and what they've become. You know, they have no respect for the craft, none whatsoever, because it's so easy to do this, and any idiot with a digital camera can call themselves a filmmaker. Wow. You know, is this lecture land day? That's great. You guys like part-time psychologist? I don't like that. Okay. First of all, I have a nice tip for you. There's the door. How's that sound? You like that? Why don't you just tell Richard that we stopped by and uh, have him call me, okay? We'll tell good old Dick you stopped by. We'll tell everybody here in the office you stopped by for Dick. How's that sound, huh? Let's get out of here. Let's. Fucking <laughs> asshole. Oh, yeah. It's a walk-off. <laughs> it's a walk-off. <laughs> Remember the movie? Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Seriously. <laughs> what? No, I had to beg Richard to be nah, 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 stop. I hate that stupid story. I know. You gotta beg him. I thought I'd be an asset. I get the yeah, whole story. Yeah, I did. I thought yeah. you might be an asset. Yeah, and I, yeah. So? Doesn't matter. In about three weeks, we're gonna be jobless anyway. Why not go out in style? Seriously. Yeah, I think you will go out in style. I know I will. I just did. You won't. Pansy. <laughs> Hi, grow some balls. I have church bells. You have tic tacs. How's that feel? Great, huh? Wow. Yeah, exactly. Oh, by the way, I saw you looking at Gabby. You like her, don't you? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. That's so why I went for the other one. Give you a chance for once. Man up. How's it feel? Not be a man. Yeah. Exactly. I like brunettes. Uh oh, okay. Good excuse. I like redheads too, but guess what? around this director's trying to make himself a cameo put himself in the movie <laughs> well, I guess the director can do whatever he wants right yeah if you're Alfred Hitchcock <laughs> sounds like something Lane would do I don't know why you keep that guy around don't worry about me I got him under control aren't you shooting video Richard wants to document all this I'm taking stills who's done video hey ladies hey hey we're doing a little uh Kind of behind the scenes DVD, kind of bonus footage. You get bored one night, you want to stick something in, whatever, you know. Cool. Nice. You guys seem pretty comfortable mm -hmm. on camera. Yeah? yeah? You guys ever worked together before? Or? First no. time. First time, yeah. Yeah? First time for everything, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess yeah. so. <laughs> good attitude. I like it. I love it. You guys look really okay. good on Um, it. Swimsuit ladies, I'm going to need you now. Let's go. Now. Six o'clock in the morning, give them the right? What's wrong, man? Look at, look at this guy, this director. Okay? He knows nothing about filmmaking. Nothing. He can't set up a shot. He can't direct an actor. He doesn't know anything about it. But somebody gave him all this money to make this big hot ride car movie. He hires all these good-looking people with tits and ass, and he thinks he's got something special. Dude, tits and ass, that kind of, that's pretty special. That makes them, <laughs> I'm just saying. These girls let me tape them. Thought I was part of the production. <laughs> hey, Lane. How's it going? Did you get some good footage of the girls? I thought you'd be shooting the guys. With, like your prison background and everything. <laughs> I guess you didn't really see that many guys, right? In, in prison, face down on the pillow, teeth full of pillow. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, nice headlamp, fuck stick. Who's taping girls? I am. Ooh, speaking of taping girls, I gotta see the prostitute I taped last night. Hot.
Hey, what's up? Did you watch it? Uh, yeah, I'm watching it right now. What'd you think? It's pretty hot, huh? There is absolutely no cinematic value in anything that you shot. All right, she doesn't even stay in frame. This is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, but she's hot, right? <laughs> I... Yeah, yeah, I guess so. What are you doing right now? Uh, I'm working on a film project. Really? Well, yeah, after being on that set tonight, I started thinking about it, you know, and and really, really reliving the movies like, um, like, like Blair Witch or Paranormal Activity and, and how they made those movies for absolutely nothing and they shot them on these cheap little video cameras and I just, you know, thought maybe I could do something like that. Where the hell are you going to find actors? You know, maybe, maybe get real people and just scare them or something. I mean, we have all the equipment in our warehouse to make whatever we want. Why don't we just borrow some of that gear and do that? We? Well, I could use some help on this. Look, with everybody Richard knows in distribution around town, I'm sure we could get this thing sold. And, you know, probably make some pretty good money. If that's something you'd be interested in. Yeah, I'll take money wherever I can find it. Well, if you're down, man, let's just talk about it in the morning. Cool. All right, talk to you then. Actually on time today. All right, I've given this a lot of thought. I really think that our idea of the movie can work, but we gotta put a little more thought into it. We can't just run and scare somebody because that's not a movie. If we figure out a way to make this thing come full circle, maybe throw in a few twists, things like that, that's what wins the audience. That's what makes it marketable. That's what we have to do. I mean, if we have a girl in the middle of the room and we just run in with like, like a sheet on her head or a knife, whoa, I mean, it's, that's not gonna work. We need to get our angles right so when she gets out of frame, then we can have our, our sound effects of the screaming, we can have the blood, the, the knife coming through the frame, whatever to make it look real. So, I was thinking about it last night. I wrote this script. I think this. That... Okay, hold on, stop, wait just for a second. Look, I know you're 30 steps ahead of everybody at all times, I get that. But this time, just stick a camera in a corner somewhere. Capture it raw. You can't go raw for this, it's not gonna work. Hey girls. How you doing? Good. Do you need some coffee? Did you get breakfast? Yeah. Okay, yeah, because I haven't had breakfast. I've been here working. Okay, I got this whole list of things I gotta do today. Because I'm at work. That's what I'm doing. Got it. Okay? This this isn't the parole board. Okay? It's not work furlough. We work here. It's what we do. It's a business. Yeah. Okay, got it. And just because you're the boss here for the next couple weeks, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. But I'm serious. We got a lot of stuff to do, and I need you helping me. I got it. And I'm doing it all by myself got over it. here. Yeah. So I, if you could you know help, what? that'd be great. That, That's what you're here for. Guess what? Is to work. You said that. Got it. Okay. Got it. All right. So I'll see you in about ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. I fucking hate that guy. Wow, stepped up from your place, huh? I treat my best girl right. Uh, seems 
shit you had last time. I gotta introduce you to my guy. Mm. All right. I'll be right out. not work today? You're still dressed. Yeah. Usually you're like ready to come the second I walk in the door. <laughs> I, I know, I just, I know, today's just a little different, you know, like this. Are you getting to get undressed or should I just stand here? <laughs> no, I'm good, I'm good. I already got my money, so it's up to you, sweetie. Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sorry about that, dude. Sorry. Come on, I got my trophy. <laughs> Hey guys, can we keep it down a little? We're we'll working next door, mate. Turn it off. Turn off the music. Turn it off! You're gonna fucking tape me without telling me? Huh? Is that your game, motherfucker? You put this shit online so you can make some money? Is that your plan? Yeah, slut cam A. That's really fucking cute. It's really fucking cute. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm not a goddamn fucking porn star. I'm a professional call girl. Don't ever call me again. And you know, if you wanted to tape me, even include him, all you had to do was ask. I'm not gonna talk about this anymore. Look, I know you're good at running camera. But we can't just run around shooting stuff. I will take care of tomorrow night. It's a little ghetto out here, I know. Why are we coming this way? Just try to listen, just bear with me.
you know, you know, when we can't get somebody that we already know, it's not gonna work. I mean, I don't I have a problem getting a prostitute or something. I mean, that's fine. But at least that way we know we can scare her. That's why we're here. Yeah, but I thought we are supposed to start down on 17th Street. No. This place is much better. Relax. We're locked in. What do you expect to look where we're at? Why are you turning down here? Manuel's down here. Yeah, there are. You just gotta know where to look. What are you talking about? Just trust me. I do this enough. More than I should. Ah, yes, yes, yes. What did I say? Roll the window down. Roll it down. Get out early today. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, can we can we have some sex? Whoa. Dude, dude. Well, hold on there, sweetheart. Uh, we're just out looking for dates. It's dates. It's code word. Not sex, dumbass. Which I never understand why you guys call it dates. There's no dating. No one's dating. We're fucking. That's all we're doing. You know that. I'm Lolita, and this here's Tangare. Shit. How old are you? I'm 18. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you guys okay with being videotaped? Yeah, it's just extra charge, girl on girl. Whatever, yeah. Watch out. Do we have a problem here, bro? Uh, no, we don't. We're good. I'm sorry. We're just talking. You're just talking. Well, this shit ain't even free. You understand me? You know what? My bad. We're out of here. You do that. Okay. Really, you think? You want to put that under the seat? Don't say a word. Let me talk to the guy. There's really a window down all the way, sir. See license and registration, please. Uh, what is the nature of your inquiry, sir? License and registration, please. Uh, no, sir. We do not have to show you license and registration until you tell us the nature of your inquiry. 
Sir, I'm speaking with this gentleman right here. And I am very politely speaking with you too here, Officer Underhill. Sir, put the video camera down. It's actually my First Amendment constitutional right, sir, to videotape you and all interactions with you as it is an accepted form of free expression. Sir. It's also California State Civil Code 120477, which if you read your manual, and I believe at some point you were required to do that, it is not required for a citizen to show any form of identification to any officer of the law, unless first given that nature of the inquiry, and since you have yet to provide us with any significant reason, you're acting outside the constitutional fold of government. Therefore, Officer Underhill, we do politely decline to show you our license and registration, sir. I pulled you over because you're a suspicious vehicle in a known gang neighborhood. Are we suspicious because we're two Caucasian males driving in a non-Caucasian neighborhood? No, sir. You are still yet to provide us any reason of the nature of inquiry on why you have stopped us. But if we are in a known gang neighborhood as you say we are, then you may really want to rethink your next few moments. Because as we're sitting in this truck all safe and sound, here you are, an officer of the law, standing out there unprotected, Maybe someone around here that just wants to take a shot at you. So it's your call, Officer Underhill. I want you two to be on your way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, shit. Dude, that was awesome. How do you know all that California state code shit? I don't, I just made it up. You're right. I mean, he doesn't know it either. <laughs> oh my gosh! Post it online. You act like this isn't even a big deal. Dude, this is the fun part. If we have a cop, hookers, a pimp getting run over by a truck, what more do you want? I want it direct. Just let me be the one to pick out the girl. Let's do it. Right there, look, 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 right there, right there, right there, right there. Du bist spät. Um, wir, ein, äh, äh, wir haben ein Problem gehabt. Was? Was ist das? Was hat sie gesagt? She asked if we want dates. Okay, yeah, yeah, we want dates. Okay, ask her right now if she works alone or if she has some crazy ass pimp holding her chain. Ask her. I, Say it. I, I, I do work alone. And no, I don't have crazy ass pimp holding chain. Ass pimp. I like her. Um, how much for a date with her tomorrow night? One you hour. mean how many roses I like on first date? Stupid color. Seventy-five roses, okay, tomorrow night. Oh, you waste my time. Hold on, okay, hold on. Oh. 
produces. I know that. No, hold on. Just stop. It works this way. I know that. This is what I do. Let me do my thing. I'll take care of this. Hey, hey, don't walk away. Come here. Look, in America, this is how we do things. I give you an offer, you give me one back. It's called negotiating, sweetheart. I don't play games. 200 roses. I do anything you want. 200 roses. You do it. You sure? I'll cover it. 200 roses tomorrow. Where do we meet you? Tomorrow night, come here. 9 o'clock. Win cash. I'm gonna have a fun day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I want to hit that. I know you speak German. A little. You can't be seen because she's expecting to be with me. Just let me think about this and figure it all out. What the hell are you so nervous for? It's a prostitute. She's gonna like you regardless. You paid for her. I just don't know why I have to be the one to do this. Because I'm the one doing the scaring. Yeah, and we saw how well that went last time. All right, you didn't scare. I sure as hell didn't scare. She punched me in the face. <laughs> and every big horror movie's got like a larger than life bad guy. And you got like, like, like Freddy, Jason, Leatherface, you have these guys that do the job. I think we gotta find somebody like that. We gotta find some, some big, dark, scary something to come out and do this. Okay, where are you gonna find this person now? We have 15 minutes till you're meeting your girl. I don't know, there's all kinds of shady people walking around the warehouse. There's gotta be someone who can do it. Just the guy. I got it. You sure about this? Uh, yeah. I'm the only one with the keys, so we should be okay. What's with the plastic? Oh, uh, they're gonna be painting in here, so we should be all right. Two hundred bucks for an hour. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> uh, here. If I film you, it's your hour, baby. Have you ever been on camera before? No. Okay, we're good, right? You know what you're doing? Hey, we're good, right? Hey. Yeah. Y yeah, we're good, or yeah, you don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Let's try this. Look at me. I look at you. We communicate. Hey, hi. We look at each other. We communicate. That's what goes on here.
this. I want you to walk in there. You're gonna wave it around. You're gonna scare the shit out of her, right? Like in the movie. Shh. What, what? What? Are you hearing anything I'm saying? What do we agree on? I'm gonna give you hundred dollars cash. You're gonna be a big movie star after this. Is that good? Is that getting through? Okay, now look. I can't go in there. I can't get in the shot. But I'm gonna watch right here on that monitor. Look, it, it, it looks scary, whatever. So, so you smell like shit, seriously. Okay, you ready? Go, now, 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 go. I'm gonna lock up in the back. Excuse me, sir, can I help you? Uh, no, I work here. I don't have anyone scheduled here for tonight. What's your name? Uh, Lane. I'm Lane Hayes. I work for uh, Richard. Uh, we're all done. I'm just waiting for my buddy to lock up. We ran a little behind um, tonight. Just. Sure, it's 4.30 in the morning. If you guys are going to be in after hours, you need to fill out a security work order so we know you're here. Hey, we don't want someone accidentally getting shot. Yes, sir. Mr. Simon, working late tonight. Yeah. I'm on it. Okay, gentlemen, have a nice evening.
body out with it. It'll be all right. If you think so. This looks so real. It's because it was real. What do you want to do now? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I mean, we didn't do anything, right? I mean, we didn't do anything. It was the guy. The guy came in there. The guy came in there with a knife and he slit her throat. He came in there, man, and he slit her throat. Gosh, just, God, why did you tell him to come in and slit her throat? I didn't tell him to do anything. I told him to wave the knife around and scare her. It's what I said. Yeah, he did. He scared her. And then he killed her. We didn't do anything. We're okay. We're okay. We gotta call the cops on this. Okay, calm down. Think this thing through. I am thinking it through. What are you gonna tell the cops? We paint some deranged homeless man to put a knife up to the neck of some prostitute? and then tape it for fun, and then he slices her throat, and then you want to drop the body off in the ocean? <laughs> we dumped her body, okay? We're accomplices to murder. I'm on probation. If I even sneeze in the wrong direction, I go to jail for a long time. That's not gonna happen. We covered our tracks. We're fine. We're not gonna get caught. Tell me you didn't feel that rush, that adrenaline. A dead body in the back of a truck with a security guard right there. And then us driving all over town knowing at any second we can get caught, but we didn't. That's a fucking rush and you know it. No drug can fix that, no high, no pill, no needle can ever top that. I know you fucking felt that. It's a prostitute. She's a bad person. Nobody's gonna miss a bad person. A diseased, filled hooker? She's already dead in the inside. Hell, we did her a favor. She'd probably thank us. So where do we go from here? We're in this now. I say we finish the game. Your directorial debut has to be big. We have big. I'm gonna say it again. Finish the game. Five star releasing. Just a moment. This is Adam. Hey. Adam, this is Travis Simon. Hey, hey, Travis, how you doing? Yeah, he mentioned you would be calling. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh... I'm actually directing a film right now, and Richard thought it might be a good idea if I get a hold of you and maybe talk about some distribution when we're all done. No, absolutely. Why don't you tell me a little bit about the film? So you actually enjoyed the experience? <laughs> okay, cool, man. Who took my plastic down? I've, I've never done something like that. Todd. 
Did you take my plastic down? I didn't touch your shit, man. What's the matter with you, bro? Mike, did you take it down? I didn't take your shit, man. It was down when I got here this morning. Chill, man. It wasn't a fucking tooth fairy, was it? Travis had me come in here yesterday, clear all this crap out of here, and hang plastic. It took me an hour and 45 minutes. We're supposed to be painting in there today. Dude, go, go get it, hang it back up then. <laughs> Lane. Huh? Did you take my plastic down? No. Need some help putting some up? I guess. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, that sounds really good. Well, I'll tell you what, when you are in your completion, why don't you give me a call? I'll have you come on in, we'll sit down and we'll talk and we'll... Take it from there. Yeah, that sounds good. Thank you. You got it. I look forward to meeting you. You as well. Okay. Bye. <sighs> Nobody wants to work around here anymore. Richard's selling the business, nobody cares anymore. I get it. It's stupid. You know what? I just want to tell you that if I've been a dick, I just want to say I'm sorry because, you know, I'm just stressed out. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't have a job lined up. I'm not sitting around waiting to lose my job. I got shit lined up. Like what? Travis and I shooting a movie. What's so funny? Why wouldn't we? Everything we need is right here. Coming in late at night, shooting scenes. Seriously? Yeah. What's it about? It's a horror thriller. Travis wrote it. It's actually badass. Sucks, though, is our lead actor bailed out last minute, so we have to find another actor. Well, you know I'm an actor, right? <laughs> yeah, okay, bro. You and everybody else in LA. No, I'm a real actor. I've taken classes and everything. I did a movie like three years ago with the beef. Like Jerry Mathers? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Was he cool? Yeah, he was awesome. You got to meet him? Yeah, I did a scene with him and everything. Nice. I mean, that's, that's, why, that's why I got a job here, because I thought, you know, I need some people in the business. You any good? Yeah. I mean, I could do a full range of emotions. I'll do it. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll even work for free. I don't know, I mean, it's a serious, it's a death scene. Come in tonight. We'll put you on camera and see how it looks. And I'll show it to Travis and see what he thinks. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'll meet you. Uh, I'll come. I'm gonna go home and change, and I'll come back. I'll meet you here later. Okay. Yeah, whatever. So, uh, you need help with anything? No, you're the talent. You just need to worry about the acting. Okay. I like your setup. You got enough light in here? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, how do we do this? Do you, do you have a script? Yeah, I just figured we'd go ahead and um, you know, improv this and see how that goes, if that's okay. Yeah, sure. Do you want me to slate? Say my name and profiles? Yeah, oh yeah, Slate, yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm uh, Jake Anderson. I'm auditioning, uh, I don't have an agent. Uh, I'm auditioning for, what? what's the movie name? The new? Uh, Cut. Okay, I'm auditioning for Cut. Okay, 
in this scene, uh, your character's actually tied up. So, I mean, if, if you want to add to the realism to be tied up. Yeah, okay. Sure. Okay. Why don't we um, just use these? Okay. okay. You want me to tie my feet? Yeah. Bring me a quesadilla. I haven't I eaten yet. Watch it. What the hell is your problem? All right, bro. Hey, um, production wants to know what happened to the other one, Kayla. Uh, I don't know. I thought we got everything. I'll check the truck. No, you only brought four. Sounds huh. good. That's a homeless guy from out yeah, back. Yeah, it's a low budget film. We have to get actors that work for cheap. What's, What's he gonna, gonna do? do? He's just gonna come at you, so act natural. Okay? Go. Wait a second. Get him! Wait a second, I don't like this. Wait, hey, hey! Get there right now, you fucking slice his fucking throat! You a movie star. Wait a second, are we supposed to go over this? Like over like safety stuff? You son of a bitch, I fucking paid you! Wait a second, I don't fucking like this. I don't fucking like this. Fuck out of here! You fucking get out of this! Fuck out of here! We're making a movie. Hey, let me fuck get out of here, motherfucker! Let me out of the chair! You stabbed me.
inside a large dumpster. Earlier today, I spoke to the man who only wanted to be referred to as Harry. I was cleaning up the city, getting cans and bottles, and I got a little bit of food for him to stay. I went to that can over there, I opened it up, and there was this person in there with his head chopped off, and it scared me, man, I down there. And Tracy, the most disturbing part is that the body was found several blocks away from St. Paul's Elementary School, which has many parents very nervous. I think everyone that I've spoken to were just shocked. You just don't expect this to happen in your community. I mean, you know, there's people out there that are sick and depraved. You just don't expect them to be right here. I was walking past this area this morning when I took my daughter to school. It's just shocking. At the moment, police have locked down the scene and are still looking for police residents, especially the ones with small children, are advised to stay home after dark. Back to you in the studio. never been here before. Jamal would kill me if he knew I was here with you right now. I can't believe you hit him with that truck.
sugar, right? What's the matter with you? Doing, man. You want her on the film? I got her on the film. <laughs> we don't have to pay her. What are you saying? I can't hear what you're saying right now. What is that? Something about being classy and professional? Is that what you're fucking saying? <laughs> I'm not <laughs> saying <laughs> Fuck you, stay! Go to Fuck you, I'm gonna be first in line, you fucking bitch! You wanted a legitimate actress for this film to make it work, that's what I got. Please, Robin, please help hey, me. Hey, this is insane, man. You can't do this. I know I can't. That's why you had to be here right now. You need to do this right now. Do a cameo. Get into it right now. Stephen King does it. Why don't you do it? Kevin, please, you don't have to do this. I'll do your movie. I'll, I'll do whatever you want. Please, just go get me down. You have no fucking choice. You've got a front row seat to your own deathbed, you fucking bitch. Fuck. You know what? I fucking like that. Do it again. Right in my mouth. 
I want to see my fucking kissy, death hey, the kissy. Get the fuck in here now! Please. You know what? I'm moving 18 to <laughs> I ran out of that shit. I ran out of it. <laughs> Try phoning home now, bitch. <laughs> Joe, what do you got?
Yeah, everything's all set. No, I agree. Between the tripod cam and the ones we got in the ceiling, I really think we got everything covered. Yeah, no, the meeting with the film office guy went really well. In fact, he wants to meet again next week. Hopefully, we can go ahead and finalize. Yeah, I just picked up the footage so I can finish the edit. I'm just worried about the ending, though. No, I'm gonna meet her as soon as I leave for tonight. I don't know, let me, let me call you back. Yeah, that's a good idea. You can close the deal without me? Is that your plan? First time you kill someone, it may not be as easy as you think to get over. I still have dreams about it. You know, do it a couple more times, it comes a little easier. That is true, what they say. Sit down. Sit down, Travis. making a movie, you know, scaring people, making it look real. Things changed a little bit, huh? You know, in the end, it kind of became real. Yeah. And it became real convenient for you. You know, I'm the one taking Chances. I'm the one making shit happen. Oh, and I love your whole the surveillance camera thing. That was genius. You didn't think I saw that, huh? So what, are you just gonna shoot me? What, cheat the audience? No way. So where do we go from here? Burn me? You think you can burn me? Now it's your turn to burn. you got? Come on, Lane, the cameras are rolling, man. I got a lot more than that, as you've already seen. Yeah, that's right, I've seen it. I couldn't have done this without you. You're my star. What the hell are you talking about? Come on, Lane. Do you, you really think it's a coincidence, huh? 
But you, an ex-con with a prison record and a history of violence towards women. Actually get hired here? Huh? I mean, that you just happened to meet these random people who could solve all of your problems. Are you kidding me? Spread change for food? No, eat that. Harry Hawk. And this is my assistant, Roy Joe. She just finished making a film in Germany. So did you pick up any German while you're there? Wir haben ein Problem gehabt. Das ist, wie du dich an Gabi siehst. Ich mag sie. Ich mag Brunettes. Ich glaube, sie hat gefragt, ob wir Dates wollen. Okay, ja, ja, wir wollen Dates. Das hat mich gebracht. Ja, ich konnte nicht für Schauspieler verantworten. Ich konnte nicht für eine elaborate Produktion verantworten, aber ich musste es nicht, weil du das für mich gemacht hast. Du bist meine Prostitute. Du bist meine Bitch. You would die. Dylan. Bullshit, I saw her die. Fuck you, Marvin. No. No, you didn't. You saw what I wanted you to see. You saw exactly what I placed in front of you for you to think. Man, with the eyes see and the ears hear, the mind believes. You want a hand with that? I got it. You gave me everything I need to get this film sold and make me the best first time director ever. I mean, think about everything we got. We just need the conclusion. You're right, we're not gonna cheat the audience. You just take that knife, you take that knife right now, and just stab me in the heart. Think about it. We got the greatest thing ever right now. We got we got good versus evil in the ultimate head-to-head -head battle. The villain's gotta die in every film, and that's what we have. We got this moment right now. We can capture it on film. I'm a sick bastard. Yeah, that's right. I'm sick. God, I felt you were the one that was messed up. Jesus, look at me. Huh? <laughs> I planned all this. I got the church bells now, baby! Huh? Let's fucking do it right now. Let's fucking do this right now. You stab me in the heart and you fucking kill me. Get it on film. Think of the ending, man. Because you can kill me, but I'm in the movie. That means I live forever. You stupid fuck. You want a climax to your film? I'll give you a climax. Now I'm gonna get the fucking credit. <laughs> yeah, I tried to edit that. The whole thing just looks so real. This is really going to be fun. I'm excited to release it. But you know, if it wasn't for the effects of my man Harry here, none of that would have been made possible. 
Haha <laughs> industry. Yeah, I think that it kind of laughs at you. <laughs> when Travis first brought me this idea, I just knew right away it was something special. But you had to have done it right, otherwise you couldn't pull it off. I stand behind my work. So my partner, Harry Hawk, designed this. And this is the pack you wear for the actors when you're doing the stab scenes. The cool thing about this, though, it's invincible. So if you stab it with a knife, the blade can't go through. Your actor's always protected. See? It's going to revolutionize the film industry. So what do you think, Mr. Phillips? We have a deal? We have more than a deal, my friend. As a matter of fact, I like the green light, the sequel. And we should discuss the franchise rights as well. Let's do the deal. <laughs> Here we go. We got it. We yep. got it. We yep. got it. Yes, yep. we did. Yep. Now we're going to have a lot of work to do if we plan to do a next one. Well, hold on a second, Exactly. Guys. We got to talk about safety first before we talk about another one because I'm not taking another crowbar to the skull. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> So what do you think, Mr. Hawk? You uh, ready for a sequel? I think I'm ready to shoot again. And now I'm ready <laughs> to speak German again. Beautiful weather for the next few days. And uh, back to you, Tracy. on directing. I already said all the cameras. You can't be seen because she's expecting to be with me. But I get to act in the next one, right? Keep the vest tight. Harry's gonna be here in about half an hour to put the blood packs on you. You good? Yeah. Listen, are we supposed to go over this, like over like safety stuff? <laughs> <laughs> 